Okay, we're going to do the second uh, question, not 9.1, but I think it's 9.2, where we find the derivative, but this time we can find the derivative using the shortcut we learn in grade 12 in South Africa. There's one thing we learn how to do the derivative, one sort of rule, and it is that we take here, say you've got a, a, an equation here, a function y equals 4x to the fifth minus 6x to the fourth plus 3x. Well, this one is so nice because it's in the exact form where we can apply our rule for finding the derivative. dy dx, the derivative is, and all we do is we take the exponent, multiply it by the coefficient, and subtract 1 from it. So 5 times 4 is 20. Uh, 5 minus 1 is 4, so it's 20x to the 4th. 4 times minus 6 is minus 24. And subtract 1, you get x cubed. Now, 1 times 3 is 3, but x to the 0 is just um, 1. But I don't have to follow a rule. The line 3 equals x always has the same gradient. It's a constant. That gradient is 3. So whenever I see 15x, 13x, the gradient is just the number in front. Well, that's pretty easy. The first question is pretty straightforward. But the second question, 9.2.2, Find the derivative, it's just another, with respect to x. So if you saw any other letters here, you'd treat them as constants, leave them alone. Don't try and take the derivative of them. They use that trick a lot. You've got to put it in the form of something times x to a power. Well, that's not, this is a third. And this is dividing by 2. So what it's nice to do, this third, x the third root of x, means x to the third power. And dividing by 2 means multiplying by a half. Now you see it's in such a nice form. It's minus 1 half x to the 1 third power. There we go. We get marks for putting it in the right form. Then we take this. You see you've got 1 over x squared. And you have to know that that's like a negative exponent. Uh, if that x squared that lives down here can come to the top and be x to the minus 2. But 3 squared is 9. And you have to know that dividing by 9 is the same as multiplying by a ninth. And then all you do, now it's ready. Now they're both in the right form where you can multiply the exponent by the coefficient. 1 over 3 times minus a half, minus 1 6. Subtract 1 from 1 third, you get minus 2 thirds. Minus 2 times 1 over 9, it's minus 2 over 9. Subtract 1 from minus 2, and you get 2x to the minus 3 over 9. And you can leave it in the negative exponent form. You don't have to put it in another form like it is in this memo. So that's it. There's that part of the calculus question all done. Okay.